Today, I wanna to teach you how to throw a sweeper. Specifically, I'll give you three grips that you can try to see which one yields the best results. But first, I think it's important to understand how this pitch should be spinning and how you can actually practice this and know that you're getting the right action on the pitch. So what I have here is a baseball with two dots on it. As I am throwing this pitch, I should be seeing it spinning in the bottom left-hand corner if I'm left-handed. If I'm right-handed, I should be seeing it spin in the bottom right-hand corner. And my partner will be seeing the other dot simply on the other side. So being left-handed, I'll be seeing it on the bottom left. My partner will be seeing it on the top left. If I'm right-handed, I'll be seeing it on the bottom right. My partner will be seeing it on the top right. That's just a simple way for you to know this pitch is spinning correctly and that you're likely getting the right action on this pitch. If it's wobbly um, or you can't see it at all, there's likely something off at release that is not getting the correct spin on this pitch. Another common issue is that you'll see the dot spinning perfectly clean, but it's facing you too much. So instead of being in that bottom right-hand corner, if you're right-handed or bottom left corner, if you're left-handed, it's facing you basically directly at you, but it's spinning perfectly clean. So you think that you're on the right track, which you are, because that's a really important piece is getting it to spin cleanly. But if you're not getting the horizontal that you're expecting, it's likely just facing you too much. And you need to make sure that you're getting that dot positioned a little bit more to the bottom right if you're right-handed, bottom left if you're left-handed. Now let's start diving into some of the grips that you can experiment with. The first one is just a traditional uh, slider grip that you've probably seen before. So my middle finger is up against this seam here on the horseshoe, and then my index finger is just resting up against that middle finger like so. Now when I'm throwing this pitch, I'm not necessarily trying to you know, get over the top of this pitch. I'm not trying to torque my wrist and get my hand around this ball to create side spin. It's really more of the action of driving down and through that bottom corner. And that's what's going to allow it to kick and get that dot spinning perfectly clean in that bottom corner. Oftentimes guys will lower their slot and they'll try to you know, get their wrist around the baseball like this to create that side spin. But the beauty of sweepers is they are heavily influenced by seam shifted wake. So I'll dive into that as this video gets going so you can understand that a little bit more. But understand that the benefit of this pitch is you don't have to lower the slot to get a lot of horizontal and to kill depth. Grip number two is very similar. Instead of being right here, we're simply just going to slide over onto the seams here. So my middle finger is up against this seam, index finger rests up against it like so. And I'm thinking about the same action. I'm trying to rip down and through that outside part of the ball to create that spin in the bottom corner. Grip number three is simply just gonna go from this position to the index finger getting to the outside of this seam. So this is gonna allow you to really feel an index dominant pitch to where you're really ripping through that bottom corner with the index finger. And for a lot of people, this grip is actually a really good option, even though it looks um, uncomfortable or a little different from a typical slider grip, it actually can make it a little bit easier for you to feel that rip into the bottom corner with that index finger to create the right spin. Now, if none of these grips are working, there is an option that you can do with all three of these. You have the option to spike the index finger. So if I'm in this initial grip here, all I would need to do is spike the index like so. You could get all the way on the seam if you needed to, or you can just do a baby spike to where it's just gently resting here, and there's just a little bit of a gap there to where you're now getting a little bit more pressure on the middle finger, which can help you supinate a little bit more on this pitch. For grip number two, you would simply just do it here. So baby spike or a full spike. From this grip here, baby spike or a full spike. Usually with this grip, a baby spike does the trick and you're really able to pull through that index finger a little bit more through that seam. I like guys to start off without the spike just because a lot of guys, if they get the right grip, they're able to do this. But if you aren't great at supinating or you're not great um, at creating the right spin just in general, the index finger can be almost like a little cheat code for you to actually get into the right position with your wrist and allow you to rip through that bottom corner of the baseball. When throwing a sweeper, it's really important that it is a two seam oriented grip. That's why all three of these are along the two seams. So even this one here, where you might initially think that this is a four seam, but because of the way you're creating the spin with this pitch, it's gonna still have that two seam orientation. This one pretty self-explanatory, and so is this one that it's a two seam oriented pitch. Some people will try to throw sweepers from this grip here or on the other side of the horseshoe here. These grips are typically gonna yield more of that bullet spin. So if you're going for a harder, shorter slider, those grips are really good options for you to do that. But if you're trying to create sweep, 
it's going to be really difficult to create a lot of horizontal without creating a lot of depth with it unless you're lowering your slot and throwing more sidearm which most people don't throw from that slot and that's the advantage of using seams to your advantage I can throw from a three quarter slot or even an over the top slot and still get this to be around zero VB with 15 plus inches of horizontal. Just because of the way the seams are oriented, it's gonna allow it to kill some of that VB while still taking off to the glove side. It's important to understand that sweepers aren't for everyone. When throwing this pitch in game, it's typically going to be a swing and miss pitch to the same sided hitter. So if you're a right handed thrower facing a righty, it's going to get swing and miss or it's going to be a swing and miss type of pitch. When you're throwing this to the opposite side, it's going to be more of a weak contact or a take pitch. So understanding how this pitch should be used and what you can expect from it is important. And it's also important to understand that you might not naturally gravitate towards this pitch. It might be more difficult for you to create the shape, even with these grips, even with these adjustments. It might just be really challenging for you to do, and it might force you to make compensations that are going to affect your delivery and potentially your health. So understand that side of it, as well as understanding how it works with the rest of your arsenal and if it actually complements what you currently throw. Whenever you're ready, there's three ways that I can help you. The first way is through my newsletter, The Monday Mount Visit. Every week, I share actionable advice with coaches and players on pitching development. Option number two is through remote training. If you are a serious player that wants to take your game to the next level, this is a great option for you. Option number three is in-person training with me in Scottsdale, Arizona. I have a track man and an Edutronic camera, so we are really able to dive into the weeds of pitching development and pitch shapes. And as always, you can reach me directly through email at pitchingcoachu at gmail.com. I'm happy to answer any questions you have on this video or any other pitching development content.